Okay, I got a question for you here. If you were deceiving yourself, if you were lying to yourself in some way that slowed down your progress, whether we're talking mental health progress, whether we're talking personal development progress, whether we're talking releasing trauma, growing spiritually, growing emotionally, becoming a fully realized human being, fulfilling your potential, whatever it is you want, if you were lying to yourself in a way that slowed you down from access to that, would you want to know about it? In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the number one place where my clients self-deceive, the place that whenever they bring this up and they say this particular phrase to me, I know it's time to slow down and help them realize that they are deceiving themselves, that that's really going to hold them back from understanding how to heal themselves. So if this interests you, and I really hope it does because this is highly relevant, please join me. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you're doing well out there. And let's just get right into the content here today. So uh, my introduction here and my title here, of course, are a little bit clickbaity, but what I'm talking about here is very real and something I really want you to understand. So what is the phrase that I hear from clients that the moment I hear this, I know they're deceiving themselves and it's holding them back. The phrase is, I don't know how to love myself. I don't know how to have compassion for myself. I don't know how to be kind to myself. I don't care about myself. Anything like that. The moment somebody says this kind of thing to me, I know that they are deceiving themselves. They have a giant blind spot and they are blocking themselves from accessing probably what they already know and what they need to apply to heal themselves. So let me explain what I mean here. So hopefully by this point, if you've been watching my channel over the last, let's say year, but especially over the last few months, you started really cotton on to one of the major points here on the channel that I'm really preaching and developing and sharing and just trying to blast out as much as possible, which is that your self-relationship is a major place in your life where you have control that can absolutely transform your mental health and how you feel and heal you or harm you, right? So this is an important thing to understand. One of the major aspects of our lives, one of the major points of our lives that can wound us or heal us the most is relationships. And the one relationship you have all the time throughout your entire life is your self-relationship, right? And this is, from my point of view, the territory, self-relationship, where often we see the symptoms of uh, attachment wounding, insecure attachment, our beliefs about relationship, our beliefs about ourselves and our role in perhaps the hierarchy or the, the, the set of value around us, right? So this is really where a lot of this stuff plays out is in our self-relationship, right? It's, it's very revelatory to start to look at how we treat ourselves. And so this has been a major point here on the channel. It is the point of the Secure Self-Relating course that I'm launching later this week. It's the point of the Secure Self-Relating free course that I launched last week. It's, it, it is the heart of what I'm trying to show you uh, in terms of especially how to regulate our nervous systems, right? So think about it like this. If we have a toxic self-relationship, the likelihood that we are going to feel dysregulated a lot is very high. The inverse is also true, that when we leverage self-relationship in a healing way, it will regulate our nervous system. And that's exactly what that course is about. And, and, and what I'm going to be talking about a lot here, because I think it's the lowest hanging fruit with the biggest bang for the buck here, right? So we can, we, we are immediately in touch with our self-relationship all the time. It's something to look at that we can tune into right away. So it's, it's immediately accessible and working that territory and knowing what to do with working that territory will radically transform your life in the way that I think is what most people are seeking when they're going to therapy. So, you know, so that's why I'm talking about that law on the channel. So clients come to me and over and over and over, we'll be talking about this. We'll be talking about secure relating, secure self-relationship and the territory of their experience with that. Pardon me, I'm going to take a sip of water here. And over and over and over, I will hear clients say, I don't know how to be kind and loving towards myself. Now, the irony of this is that almost always, especially if the client is someone who's been through a bunch, like they've, they've, you know, they grew up in a really rough or horrible situation, or there was just a lot of chronic uh, mistreatment, or they've been through some really serious abusive situations. People who have been through really traumatic stuff almost invariably are incredibly kind people 
who really deeply understand how to treat others properly, right? So almost always when I start asking these people about how they are towards others, you know, how they are towards animals, how they are towards um, people who are suffering or helping other people. These are people, usually, if you've been through trauma, you have a lot of compassion. You have a lot of understanding and empathy. You have, have a lot of, it's meaningful, usually, for these people to treat others well, right? They, they want to model that in the world and be a part of the solution. And so what's so ironic when I hear this from clients often is that they're like, I don't know how to treat myself right, but then they know exactly how to do all these really amazing, loving, kind, compassionate things towards others, right? And this is why I call bullshit. This is why I think this is a massive piece of self-deception because generally speaking, um, you do. If, if you have a sense of, of how to treat others properly or how to be a kind person in the world or how to treat animals well or how to just be a loving good person or a patient person or a person who listens or a person who's respectful to others if you understand that you already have the roadmap of how to heal yourself this is really what i want you to see right and so this is this is the thing when clients say this i have to prove them wrong and kind of call bs because they do know how it's just never occurred to them to map over what they know from relating to others into their self-relationship. It's it's really that simple, right? So we can just take what we know in terms of being good towards others and start applying that to the wounded places in ourselves and some really magical, transformative, healing, beautiful things start to happen. It's the whole point of secure self-relating. Uh, insecure self-relating there, really, that's what I'm doing is mapping out what are those behaviors, what are the different approaches to relating, what are the common mistakes that we think are well-intended but can be harmful, well, you know, what are the nuances, but the broad picture you can do right away, which is just think about how you treat other people when you want to be good to other people and do that towards the wounded part of yourself. It's that simple. I just, can't, I just, I just told you in like one sentence how to heal your trauma. That's it. Okay, do you see it? Do you get it? Are you hearing this? It's simple. It's really not that complicated. But in that, for a lot of people, there are a lot of points of confusion or a lot of points that we want to work at, so hence the course. So what I really want you to get, okay, first of all, so let me clarify something here. Uh, I, I want to backtrack just a, a, a shade here, a hair here. Do I think my clients are actually lying when they say this? No. I think my clients are really beautiful people who have really well-intended hearts, and this is just a blind spot. They just haven't put two and two together. Oh, I know how to be a good person in this area. Why don't I apply to this area, right? It's just like this thing that doesn't occur to people. So it's not really a lie. It's just more a piece of self-deception. It's a, it's a piece of, it's a blind spot. It's a thing we don't think to do. And so I want you to start to think about this, that you do know the right way to treat people. I really believe that even for those of us that grew up in really rough situations where we have a lot of attachment wounds and we're really mistreated by maybe our, our family or our community or what have you, siblings, what have you. I think even for a person like that, generally speaking, we've seen enough TV shows and movies or just met enough people in life that for most of us, we will have some sort of imprints even if it's just instincts and intuition we will have imprints and somewhat of a map of what secure attachment is what secure relating is what it means to relate in a healthy constructive positive mutually beneficial win-win compassionate caring easy good way with others we generally know what that is it's just that we don't think to access that where it might matter most in the moments it matters most, right? So, and this is true, I think, both internally with our own self-relationship and, you know, conversation for another day, I think it's true also interpersonally that usually when, you know, the, when the chips are down, so to speak, and, and it, the cards are down and, and, and it's time to like really like show up for a person the right way or we're in a bit of conflict with someone, that's usually the moment we aren't accessing this information and using it where it would benefit the most. So what I want to teach you here on the channel, but also in the course, it goes into great detail, 
sign up for the free course link is down below um, and go check it out you'll get start to get the roadmap of how this works what i want to teach you is how you can leverage relationship to heal yourself and how you can call upon what you already know in order to heal yourself it really is that simple so anyways that's my message to you today i hope you're well i'll talk to you guys soon take care